here we've been learning about growing in the love of Christ praise God how many people been growing in the love of Christ for the Holy year? let's give the Lord a round of applause we've been growing in the love of, of Christ but um, this morning we're gonna continue in that teaching but this week we'll enter into a new phase or a new season in that book we getting ready to jump into volume four the fourth volume which is the one in green you can pick one up in Amazon or you can pick one up at the lobby so that you can do your devotion this week but this morning we're gonna jump into that volume four but uh, um, the next part of growing the love of Christ that you'll find in that book is loving ourselves we have to love ourselves we learn already about loving God excuse me and loving others but in the season we are about to learn as we close out the year how to love ourselves even the loving others that we learn about if you do not know how to love yourself you will not truly know how to love other people you will not know how to love other people but for you to really love yourself you have to know you have to know who you are in Christ. You have to know who are you loving. If you're going to love yourself, you have to know I'm just not loving this body. I'm just not loving my bad thoughts or whatever it is that I feel is deficient about myself. But I'm loving the true foundation of me. So who am I loving? Just like when you love a person that's close to you. There are certain characteristics, there are certain attributes that that person have that makes you love that person. But you yourself, you cannot love yourself right out of thin air. If you're going to be passionate, love yourself, you have to know who you are in Christ so that you can know how to properly love yourself and why you should love yourself and why the love that you have for yourself should not fluctuate with the situation, the circumstances that are going on in your life. So you have to know who you are so the first part you're gonna see this week in the devotional you're gonna see I am holy you're gonna see a part that says I am holy which mean you are holy which means that the Lord is calling you holy the Lord is calling you and I holy now when the Lord is calling you and I holy or he's calling us special or he's calling us extraordinary he's not talking about our body our body or even our soul when the Bible call us holy is talking about the spirit our spirit our renewed spirit in Christ when Christ come in our lives and the Holy Spirit come in our lives now he sit his spirit the Holy Spirit sit in our spirit and our spirit became become perfect and become holy it becomes special it become extraordinary say I'm special say I'm special say I'm holy now let me show you a verse in the Bible that shows why when the Lord is talking about or when we're talking about you being holy you being special it's not just talking about your body or your your soul is talking about your spirit that is made perfect look at Hebrews chapter 12 verse 23 Hebrews chapter 12 verse 23 look what it says it said to the general assembly and the church it's talking about you and I here of the firstborn who are registered in heaven praise God you and I we are registered in heaven he said to God the judge of all to the spirit of men of just men made perfect to the spirit of just men made perfect which mean you are not just anybody you are a child of God you are special and you are holy you are holy look at the person next to you say you are holy say you are holy I'm getting you to do that exercise because uh, you need to know that you are holy if you're going to love yourself you need to know those things about yourself so that you don't let your circumstance uh, your, 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 your circumstance make your love for yourself fluctuate with it you have to know whether everything is going good whether everything is going bad if the Lord call you holy that means you're holy if the Lord calls you special that means you are special if the Lord call you extraordinary that means you are extraordinary now I may be calling you holy or making you say to your friend that's sitting next to you that you are holy and you feel like brother Val I've been um, living not such a holy life or <clears throat> I've been sinning all week or my finances don't reflect that I'm a holy person the way my family situation is it doesn't reflect that I'm a holy person you know why it's because some of us sometimes you and I we misconstrued what the true term
term uh, or we limit our conception of the meaning of holiness uh, just to meaning apart from sin yes that's part of it too but that's not all it is about uh, about about holiness it's more exhaustive it's more grandiose than that so when you see holy when you see the bible talking about you are holy it means more than moral purity that you are set apart from sin it means more than that as a matter of fact if the only meaning of the word holiness, if the only meaning was set apart from sin, there's a lot of verses or there are verses in the Bible that would not make any sense. Let's look at one of them. One other thing that the Bible called holy, the Bible called water holy. Let's look at Numbers um, chapter 5 verse 17. You'll see that. I want to quickly show you that in the Bible. Numbers chapter 5 verse 17 it says the priest shall take holy water in an earthen vessel and the verse continues so the here the bible says the priest shall take holy water the, the bible is talking about water here but it calls water holy well first of all if if holy meant um, that you are set apart from sin then there would be a lot of things wrong with this verse because first of all water is not even alive water is not an object that's alive and then the second thing is water does not have free will for you to sin you have to have free will you have to be able to differentiate right from wrong and you deliberately chose wrong for the bible for the for you to be sinning so if the bible here is calling water holy that mean uh, there is much more to the word there is much more to the definition of the word than just uh, set apart from sin it means uh, more than that the other thing the bible calls uh, garments uh, called clothes uh, holy let's look at um, exodus 28 verse 2 let's look at what it says it says it's talking it's, it's moses here the lord is giving instruction to moses how aaron should present before him in the temple in the holy of holies but look how he says aaron should dress he said and you shall make holy garments for aaron your brother you shall make holy garments for aaron your brother here the bible is again talking about a a, a, a piece of cloth an object uh, that has that is not alive and that has no free will but it's still calling it holy and the, because the reason why the bible is calling the 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 the, the clothes or the piece of cloth holy it's because that clothes would be set apart has been chosen to be worn only when it is in the presence of god so whenever whenever something is set apart it, it's called holy it's called holy that's why here the bible is calling them not only what Water, but also uh, what also garments or clothes um, holy now there is another thing in the Bible there's another object in the Bible that the Bible would then call holy as well there are many other examples but we're gonna stop here at these three and um, I want to show you that because that really shows the true meaning of the word uh, holy it shows us the true meaning of the word holy now this verse here is talking about david who had just came from fighting and walking around with all of the giant killers with all of the giant all of the abishai who are with him all of the great mighty men of war who are with, who are with him and he got to the temple when he got to the temple of god he spoke to the priest he asked the priest do you have any food do you have any bread here and look how the bible describes it look what the priest told him he said there is no common bread on hand but there is what there is holy bread there is no common bread but there is holy bread there is no the french version said there is no uh paint ordinaire there's no ordinary bread but there is a holy bread there is holy bread that means whenever something is being set apart from being coming whenever something or someone just walk from being coming and step into a class or by itself and step outside of normal commonality then that thing had just because or that person had just become a special thing that thing has just become holy so that's why here you see that the bible is calling water holy is calling is calling a, a piece of a cloth holy and is calling a, a piece of bread holy because there is more to holiness than just being set apart from sin there is more to holiness the true meaning 
king of holiness is not set apart from sin is set apart from being common now because I'm special now because I'm holy there is certain things that I don't do I obviously doesn't involve myself in certain activities and certain things but it's not because I don't practice those things that makes me holy it's because God has set me apart and God has chosen me and God has called me holy that's what makes me holy now when you understand the true meaning of holiness you'll understand why in heaven when they worship God they don't just call him love um, Isaiah had a vision of worship in heaven he saw the angels worshiping in heaven they had um, six wings two wings covered their feet and two wings covered their body and two wings covered their eyes and when they were crying they cried holy 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 if you read in Isaiah verse 6 uh, chapter 6 verse 3 it says and one cried to another holy 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 touch the person next to you say you are holy say you are holy text the person next to you again say you're holy touch the person behind you say you are holy when you understand the holiness of God then you will understand why the Bible is calling you and I holy the Bible said the angels when they are in heaven when they are crying when they are in the truest purest form of worship what they cry is holy 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 now the Bible talk about how God is love it even says that God is love but in heaven they don't cry out love 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 they say holy 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 the Bible talk about the wisdom of God the wisdom of God has no beginning has no end that's why in Ephesians the Bible talk about the manifold wisdom of God so when you think you've conquered all of the wisdom that he has there is another fold of wisdom that you did not know about so that's why it talks about the manifold wisdom of God but here Isaiah said when I was in heaven when I had the vision of worship in heaven I did not see him say wise 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 I heard them say holy 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 Isaiah now in the Bible to talk about how God is all powerful there is nothing that God can do there's nothing that he cannot do any situation anything that comes before him he always serve him the Bible says he's omnipotent there is no power that he doesn't have there is no limit to his power but the Bible did not talk about that when Isaiah saw the vision of worship in heaven that he said powerful 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 it said holy 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 I don't know if you're starting to understand but our God is holy our God is special our God is not common so when the Bible said they say holy 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 it means your love is holy your love is special your love is not any other kind of love no matter how much somebody love you no matter how much somebody appreciate you they will never give themselves let alone their only child so that they can save you even without knowing you that means that love is not common love because that love is not common love they call that love holy love no matter how wise somebody is there is something they're gonna come across that they can not solve and that they need help for and you may look for help and still may not be able to solve it that's why when men started to describe earth they describe earth as being flat because their knowledge is coming their wisdom is coming but God has manifold wisdom that means his, wise, his wisdom is holy and his power is holy no matter how powerful you are no matter how powerful a country is there is they cannot do everything you're gonna come a certain place uh, where somebody just gonna stop you because you're not all powerful but when you look at God power it's a special power it's an extraordinary power it's a power that takes no regard of nothing and no one he does whatever he want uh, whenever he want uh, with whomever he want uh, wherever he want however long he want that means that power is special because that power is special the Bible said that that power is holy so when the angels stand in heaven and they say holy 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 when they say holy 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 it means that God 
you are special it means that god you are the god all by yourself i don't know about you but i'm excited about that i don't want to serve a coming god i don't want to serve a god that i'm in trouble and when i call him he come running and the problem stop him too i want a god when i'm in trouble i call you and there is obstacle there's a mountain and he said who are you in front of zorbabel who are you in front of tabernacle of glory who are you in front of valor be plain and on the mountain be plain in front of him because he's a holy and special god i'm excited about my god because my god is holy my god is holy my god is holy last night what i was praying while i was praying i heard the lord told me there are people in the service i don't know which service so i'm saying it every service there are people in the service that have a that have a low view of themselves you have a low view of yourself that's because you don't know what kind of god you serve you serve an almighty god so don't look at your circumstance look at your holy god don't look at what you going to look at your holy God don't look at your limitation look at your holy God the Bible said they said holy 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 the Bible said uh, when they get into true worship when they're about to describe them when they have nothing else to say when they don't know how else to summarize who he is they just stand up and says holy 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 when they don't know what else to do when the admiration is so much when the love is so much and they run out of words they cannot keep saying you love they cannot keep saying powerful they cannot keep saying wise they stand up and say holy 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 because god is holy that's why i was telling you worship him just because he's god that's why i was telling you earlier worship him just because he's almighty because he's holy he's holy his holiness is not depending on your circumstance i wish some of us know that sometimes he's holy that's why sometimes in spite of all your circumstances you gotta go in your closet and still worship because your worship does not depend on your circumstance it depends on how holy he is so i say holy 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 but i'm about to close but the last thing i told you was god calls you holy god called you special and you are extraordinary but i didn't tell you where it says that in the bible so i gotta show it to you real quick let's look at first peter 2 verse 9 look at first peter 2 verse 9 it says here let's read with me it says but you are what you are a chosen what generation let's say it again but you are what a chosen generation it says you are a royal what priesthood and then what he said you are a holy nation now you start to understand why the bible call you holy and he says what you are his own special people so we say holy and then we see special go right with the holiness so when the lord call you holy when the bible says you are holy the lord is saying you are holy because you are my own special people you belong to me you belong to me that's why the bible call you holy let's look at deuteronomy 7 verse 6 he's still talking about your holiness he says for you are a holy people let's say that again you are what a holy people let's say that louder you are what a let's say that louder you are what a holy people holy to whom to the lord your god and it said the lord your god has chosen you the lord your god has chosen you you are holy you are special you are extraordinary you are in a class all by yourself you write from coming to extraordinary you walking from ordinary to extraordinary just because god himself chose you and set you apart now there's something i need to tell you about the water about the the the, the clothes and about the bread now the water is there are a lot of water the water on earth actually the earth is full of water most of the component of the earth is actually water but when the when the priest goes and get water and set the water apart and say every other water is coming every other water is ordinary every other water is just water but this water is chosen now because the water is chosen 
by the priest to serve the Lord now the water has become special the water has become extraordinary now the clothes is the same thing you can wear clothes to go anywhere you can wear clothes to wear to the market you can wear clothes to go to parties but the Lord said the clothes that Aaron's gonna wear to be in my presence will be chosen and be set apart and only used for that because the clothes is chosen then they say the clothes is holy but you still have to announce yourself and say I'm special stand up on your feet let's pray I'm special. I'm special. I'm holy. I'm not holy unto myself. I'm holy because God is holy. I'm holy because God has called me holy. I'm holy because God has made me holy. So because God has made me holy and is holy, there is nothing you can do about that. You better start liking me now because the promises will come true. Because I'll still be here. Because I'm holy. If you're waiting for that disease, if you're waiting for that depression to kill me, you are mistaken. That's what normal people but I'm special. So when the Bible says you're holy, you are holy. It doesn't matter who's against us, who's against you. It doesn't matter who's not for you. It doesn't matter what other people say. You are special. Hey, you are special. You are special. You are special. Look at the person next to you, tell them that. Say you are special. Look at the next person, tell them that. Say you are special say you are special say since you want listen to brother Val listen to me you are special you are special Lord I thank you for making us special Lord I thank you for making us holy Lord I thank you because you made us a holy people if they were describing David today, they would have said, look at an adulterer, look at a criminal. But because, Lord, you describe them, you call them special. You are special. You are special. You are special. Shekinah App, téléchargez-le, Kounia.